Recounting the night evil attacked our community, we continue to remember the lives lost and the heroics from first responders during 1 October. Ahead of the seven-year mark, Marie Mortera shows us uh, what former law enforcement officials remember from that night. A night we'll never forget. And to be able to look down on the utter destruction that took place, it was something that will never leave me as long as I live. I strongly encourage no one to use that person's name, only that they were a coward that took 60 lives. On October 1st, 2017, a man opened fire from a room inside the Mandalay Bay at people attending the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. 58 lives were taken that night. Two more people died years later due to their injuries. Through all the darkness, first responders answered a dire call for help. It was LVMPD cops, it was school PD, it was air marshals, it was Henderson, North Las Vegas. The entire valley of first responders came together and that's one thing that still sticks with me today. Kelly McMahill is the wife of Sheriff Kevin McMahill. Kevin was the undersheriff at the time and she was a Metro captain. She says she and her husband had just come home from taking their kids to watch the Blue Man Group. We had gotten home and been home for all of maybe 30 minutes and our phones just started going crazy. Scars from mass shootings are still felt by everyone, including first responders having to see the aftermath of tragedy. You know what haunts me the most, other than the fact that we lost 58 souls that night, um, I went up to the shooter's room. Uh, that was my area of responsibility. And for me, it was seeing those huge windows just gone, right? You have a deeply unhappy, self-absorbed, selfish person that committed a heinous act to make other people feel the pain that they had. Former FBI Las Vegas special agent in charge, Aaron Rouse, says one of his assistants told him about the shooting shortly after the bullets stopped. Uh, we mobilized everything within the Las Vegas division. We immediately contacted back to FBI headquarters and started to request additional resources that we knew that we were going to need. The FBI dedicated more than a thousand people to the case, working closely with Metro Police to help bring some justice. Do what we could to provide closure to the families of the victims and the community at large. Metro Police later releasing a report on lessons learned from the tragedy, including a controlled response of resources, stocking up on trauma kits ahead of major events, and making sure police are called to investigate suspicious situations when multiple guns are found inside hotel rooms on the Strip. Current and former law enforcement say their hearts are still with everyone impacted. Here we sit almost seven years later, and the one thing that I hope people understand is how much we care deeply about everyone that was there that night. And that was our Marie Mortera reporting there. This year's sunrise ceremony set for 730 in the morning on Tuesday at Clark County's Outdoor Amphitheater. Our thoughts continue to be with all of the victims and their families. We'll be right back.